Someone put fries yeah. on the plate. Yeah. Did you give my did you give them offerings? Yes. <laughs> That's so yes. sweet. I came in. I talked. I put offerings. I appreciate that. Yeah, they demanded cookies at 333 last night. <laughs> 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 but I'm glad they're getting what they want. Daily affirmation, repeat after me. I am not the bigger person. I am the smaller person who is prone to pyromania. So, um, I need to talk about this cat for a minute. I'm an animal intuitive, so this is my job. I literally talk to people's pets for them and tell them things that they want them to know. Anyway, when I was doing this reading for Maggie, she kept showing me a picture of a cat, right? This like striking black cat with white in the middle. And she was trying to tell me how important this cat was to her. I thought it could be like, someone she knew before she was adopted in this family. Maybe it's a neighbor's cat. Maybe it's like an outdoor cat that like keeps visiting. Maybe it's, who knows, right? Could be anything. So I told her owner, I can't make this up. It was a cookie jar. This is where her treats go. She was trying to say that she wanted food. I have an army. We have a Hulk. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. I have crippling depression. The high ground. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Dee -dee -dee. So you do realize that everything you just described to me is childhood trauma, and you need to process that. Mm. Nah, I just like to think of it as my origin story. Ah. Okay, however you need to frame it, you still need to- It's my character development arc. One of many. One of many?! That's right, I'm not fucking done with this conversation. Sit down. I used to work in a candle store. I asked my boss, why don't we just, like, have a point system where the people can bring in their old candle jars and then we can just reuse them? Why don't we do that? And he said, and I quote, It'll fucking explode. That's not just store policy, that's company policy. They recognize the fact that the candle can expand too much. And one day that candle glass is just gonna fucking explode. And again, when y'all out here adding so many herbs and spices to the inside of these candles, you're adding more flammable objects, more things that add more heat to your candles. So no, I'm not sympathetic and I'm not surprised when you fucking deity candles shatter at the top. I want y'all to think of glass like you think of anger, okay? You can hold in so much anger, you can hold in so much emotion, and then one day, it's just gonna fucking explode over the littlest shit. And everybody's gonna think, oh, nobody saw that coming. No, 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 you heated up the glass. It's gonna fucking explode. Here is my list of beginner witch must-haves. Please invest in a fucking fire extinguisher because... I can't tell you how many times I've burned down my house, this morning being one of those times. So hear me out. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so into making wall hangings lately, but I wanted to make one as a spell bottle. Does that make sense? Like instead of a spell bottle, it would be a spell wall hanging. So I took six bottles, filled them up with pink salt, elderflower, lavender, cornflower, calendula, and rose. I capped them, I put the eye screw in, and then I put them on some crystals. Amethyst, Amazonite, Rose Quartz, Moonstone, Angelite, and Fluorite. Put that on the side there, and grab a stick. Just depends on how big you want it, but it's me, so we had to make a huge. Got some yarn, and I secured it on the stick. Then I started taking apart my vines. I think I got them all from Joanne Fabrics, actually. Hot glue them on there. The amount of times I burned myself is ridiculous. Add on your spell bottles, and add on your other flowers, and it should look like this. And you can make this for any intention you want. This one was for self-love and healing. So I hope you have a wonderful day and remember that I love you. <laughs> you so crazy. Same hoes that was sending shots, they reaching out like they back. Why would I hop in some beef? Why?
when I could just hop in the Porsche. You heard she gon' do what from who? That's not a reliable source. I want so badly to be mad, but the fact that you did it right impresses the fuck out of me. A plus, sir. Did you know in witchy numerology that your birthday can tell you which kind of witchy gifts were bestowed upon you at birth? Here's how we're gonna do it. First, you're gonna wanna write down your birth date numerically. Then you're gonna add all of those numbers up. Keep reducing until you get one single digit number. Mine was five. Next, we're gonna learn what that number says about you. Let me know if it resonates in the comments and make sure you follow for more. All right, I'm about to go full witch mode on my AP Calc test. Wish me luck. Intuition check. Plans before submit. Fuck. Hey, what's up, I'm Adam Adam. If this reading came across your feed, it's probably for you. Let's do it. Okay, so girl, we need to be a little bit more active of our emotional states right now. Quit waiting for shit to come to you. Communicate, express, go fucking get it. Also, this is going to cause some imbalance. You're used to waiting for things coming your way. Maybe you going to get the fucking thing is going to cause a little shift in the energy. Good. It's supposed to. You've been comfortable for far too fucking long. You're removing mental booby traps. You're unbinding yourself from your old mental shoulds. Stop shitting all over yourself, girl. Clean the fuck up. Go get your shit and fuck it up. Asking Lapis for help to find my missing headphones. Some shoddy locating divination. Under the bed. Wait a fucking second. You I need to clean sorry. After I just bought another pair too. Lapis you're a genius. Alright, can I talk to Magnolia please? Magnolia? That's my daughter. I haven't seen her in a long time. But I've been needing to talk to someone for centuries. Please talk to me. Hey, uh, how are you? What's your name? You look old enough to have children. Where are your children? I don't have any i don't want any so you're telling me you want one right now because i can do that for you i can do that literally no you should make soup make the soup make ham and potato soup make it i will definitely do that um so what else do you want to talk about other than soup and giving me children i killed my daughter's boyfriend i don't have the capabilities of unpacking that at the moment uh-oh i'm almost out we better make some more black salt these first two ingredients are completely optional, but I like to burn a bay leaf and add the ashes to my black salt. Now in a mortar and pestle, I'm going to grind up some black pepper. I'm going to add leftover incense ashes. Now as far as how much you should do of each of these ingredients, I'm making a really big batch because I sell this in my Etsy. You're probably not going to want to use quite this much in your own personal batch. One of my charcoal tabs broke and it's the perfect ingredient to use. Let's crush this into a powder. Beautiful. Now let's get our salt. Grab a jar and fill it most of the way with some sea salt. Add in your charcoal and ashes mix and then give it all a good shake. And there you have it. Some quick and easy black salt ready to use. Rocks! So I got this random handwritten letter in the mail. <laughs> I don't know this lady. A Bible pamphlet. What the heck? Creepy. I decided to return the favor. I made her this pamphlet she might enjoy. She should read number one especially. She left her return address, so she must want to be tempo. You're welcome, Mary. 